Ladies and gents, welcome to the reacts and this is measles explain vaccine or not by channel cuz gazar and nashad. Everybody is talking about measles, but what does the virus actually do in the body? Is it really so harmful that you need vaccination? Yeah. We go deep into the body of an infected person and see what measles does and how the immune system reacts to it. Yeah. I react to the Ebola virus video. So I'm like why the hell not? Let's do the measles one. Uh, you know, I guess this video was in 2015 because around that time there was, you know, uh, measles outbreak were becoming a thing uh, in the USA and I guess other countries too, I don't know. Because people were denying vaccines, like vaccines are not good, vaccine gives you autism and this and that. Scientists obviously talking as scientists should, like there is no enough evidence to link vaccinations with autism. because they can't just say there is there is no you know vaccines don't cause autism because they're scientists they don't directly say that but that was enough for some people to say like even though there is no evidence there could be so I'm not vaccinating it was creating so much you know measles outbreak it's just stupid in the modern age measles outbreak really it's just after people you know people also thinks you know what natural body should work naturally we shouldn't interfere it with all the vaccines thing this makes body stronger Really? Few centuries ago people were begging for vaccines like this. All right? People used to die left and right. Uh you know, life expectancy was very low because of all the diseases. Modern medicine changed all of that at a ridiculous degree. And now people are like living in this modern age in there, you know, with all the penicillins and thing just sitting there thinking, "Oh, hmm, my whole life I was fine." and th- therefore i think vaccines are all are necessary human bodies are just stronger right we don't need vaccines uh, we can take care of viruses no viruses can take care of you you can take care of virus viruses can take care of you i mean not really most of the time body fights off but yeah things like measles ebola and mo- major diseases will kill you so when there is a vaccine for something of course you should take it so yeah i, th- I think that's when this uh, video was uploaded uh, yeah Remember people if you like my reaction don't forget to like and subscribe check out the reaction there's a link in the description check out the casual place check out the cards and yeah let's go this one Recently there's been a lot of talk about measles what does measles actually do and should you vaccinate against it or is this just hysteria Measles is a virus a hull of proteins RNA plus some more proteins for reproduction It cannot reproduce by itself. It needs a host cell to do so. To understand measles, we have to understand the immune system. You might already have seen the visual system we developed to help here. Now, let's focus on the parts of the immune system relevant to measles. The measles virus enters humans through the nose, mouth, or eyes. The measles infection starts in the lungs. Measles is especially good at infecting the body's first line of defense, macrophages, powerful guard cells that protect the lungs from intruders. They enter a cell and take it over. The virus reprograms the cell and transforms it into a dangerous virus production center. Once a cell is filled with viruses, they leave the crippled cell and begin the cycle over again. But the immune system has powerful weapons against virus infections, natural killer cells. These cells basically patrol the body and check other cells for infections. If they find an infected cell, they order it to commit suicide. This is so effective that for the first 10 days or so, you will not even notice that you're infected with measles. And now, the reason why measles is so powerful. After a- Oh shit, it kind of feels similar to the current pandemic, right? You can't even know you have corona if you, you know, when you get it for a week or two. is feel similar to that thank god there's a vaccine for this so when the measles outbreak were happening like that i guess the panic was similar like this i mean not like this because we didn't have vaccine for what we have right now before obviously there were vaccines available for measles uh, but there are people uh, who can't get vaccinated right because they have some kind of a disease uh, that prevents them you know their immune system is weak or something or something so they can't get measles only way to protect them is to make sure most other people are vaccinated so th- that's just fucked up right people who believe in science who believe in vaccines but they can't get a vaccine get out of the house afraid like i might get disease and there are there's some idiots who like oh, i don't believe in science i have more knowledge than those scientists and then you know the the people who believe in science 
but can't get a vaccine as it gets infected because of the other idiots. That's just effed up. In a period of fighting and dying, macrophages alert the brain of the immune system, the dendritic cells. There you go. The job of the dendritic cells is to collect samples of intruders, travel to the lymph nodes, and then activate the heavy weapons that eradicate the infection very fast in a team effort. But the measles virus uses a dreadful tactic. It infects the dendritic cells and uses them as a Trojan horse to enter deeper into the body. The infected cells travel to the next lymph node to alert other immune cells. Once it arrives, the measles virus spreads around the virgin T and B cells and infects them. It's All right, so Ebola also, first Ebola infects dendritic cell, right? In this, uh, you know, measles first infects uh, the macrophage and then infects dendritic cells. So what, is it uh, similarly dangerous than Ebola? But since we have vaccine for this, I mean, we are not realizing that. Is that what's happening here? Because I see similar tactics here. Obviously, in that video, I was talking like, is this, you know, uh, engineered virus? Even then, I said, I know this is stupid. I was just saying that obviously that's not the case. I know that. So, you know, this feels uh, similar to that as well, you know, affecting dendritic cell, macrophage cell, and just, you know, yeah. So basically, evolution has narrowed down viruses that can do this. Because other viruses, our body just fights off, we don't even realize it. So dangerous viruses like this, that affects dendritic cell and macrophage cell like that, is the one we know about because they are that dangerous. So I guess since we have vaccines for measles, I mean, we don't see it as dangerous as Ebola. But I think it's similar. Measles virus spreads around the virgin T and B cells and infects them. It attacks the very system that evolved to fight it. Now, things happen very fast. The lymph system spreads the virus everywhere and it enters the bloodstream, infecting cells while traveling. Measles infects organs like the spleen, the liver, the intestines, and most importantly, the lungs. The symptoms range from a very high fever, headache, sickness, bronchitis, and of course, a rash. I guess Ebola is more than just because it's bleeded out from inside, right? It explodes things. This is not doing that. So, in the lung, the tactics are the same. There are certain things that measles are not doing that Ebola does, which is more dangerous. The immune system was doing pretty okay, but now millions of viruses attack a second time and kill countless cells, wiping out the defense systems. In this phase, you start coughing out millions of measles viruses. Measles is so contagious at this stage that if you meet someone who isn't vaccinated, there's about a 90% chance you'll infect them. Without the protective Damn. army in the lungs, other bacteria or viruses that would usually not stand a chance can now enter the lungs and develop into harmful parallel infections that can cause pneumonia, the most common way to die from measles. Your body's immune system is now seriously wounded. Various You know, most uh, viruses like this, even the corona, uh, usually attacks lungs as the main thing and you know lungs are the reason why people die right I mean Ebola it's different Ebola just bleeds you out from inside it's a different virus but most viruses affects uh, the lungs and kills off the lungs because yeah when the uh, immune system fights really hard back you know it kills off all the you know lung cells and things and it damages it at the level that breathing becomes a problem protective systems are hurt and disrupted. The virus spreads everywhere, infecting the skin all over the body. The typical measles rash now becomes visible. And in some cases, the measles virus reaches the brain and oh, causes shit. a brain infection. If it does so, the chances of dying are between 20 to 40 percent and there may be long-term damage. But your body is far from giving up at this stage. And yeah, okay, so if it reaches the brain, then the chances are 20 or 40 percent. Otherwise, there's much lower. It kind of makes sense. Like I said, you know, Ebola bleeds you out from inside. Uh, you know, measles doesn't do that. Even though, ta you know, the tactics feels the same. That's uh, d different, I guess. If measles did that, that would be even more dangerous. Damn. That's just after up, right? Even if you survive measles, you end up with brain injuries. Ugh. It fights back aggressively. Some dendritic cells survive long enough to activate the antivirus forces of the body. Plasma cells in the lymph nodes start producing billions of antibodies, done, tiny proteins that mark infected cells for destruction or clump the virus together. Killer T cells flood the body and kill infected cells left and right. After two to three weeks, the body usually gets the upper hand and overwhelms the infection. But the immune system is now seriously weakened and may take weeks or months to recover, uh, leaving the body vulnerable yeah. to other diseases. But if you make it, 
you are not. as the most aft up thing especially around the you know the, the problem that we have going on right now the people who are you know who had diseases in the past you know like serious diseases too like cancer and things who underwent a chemotherapy or something their immune system are really weak so last time you know last year was really hard for them you know it would really advise that you really shouldn't get in contact with anyone if you want to survive because if they got infected that would be the end of that because the immune system was already weak that's just have to now immune the immune system remembers the virus forever measles is no joke although 84% of all humans are vaccinated against measles 122,000 people died because of the infection in 2014 some up. people cannot get vaccinations either because they're too young because of chemotherapy or hiv or because they're allergic to the vaccine they need the rest of us to stop the disease for them the measles vaccination is safe cheap and available there are no benefits from having measles at all you don't strengthen your immune system and it's not more natural most people who there you go he said it that's the shit that pissed me off and i heard it like it's natural man your body gets stronger you know it's good to get infected so your immune system is strong not this you idiot since you've been living in this modern time with all the you know you know antibiotics and all the you know over the counter medicines you don't know what is you know heavy sickness is like people used to infuse centuries ago everybody used to get sick people used to die because of diarrhea are you kidding me you're like oh it's natural man fuck you don't vaccinate only want the best for their children which is honorable but if you ask yourself am i putting the life of my child and other children at risk by not vaccinating against measles the sad answer is yes yes you are let's not play the blame game though let's work together and eradicate this virus together we can get rid of these dread look here's the thing and probably somebody in the comment will disagree with this here but i get it if you want to get vaccinated or get you know a kid vaccinated that's your decision i mean you know it's free will right democracy understand that but if you're not getting vaccinated affect somebody else and hurt somebody in the society now you're danger to the society if that's the case you should you know you should be getting vaccinated it should be a rule to get vaccinated because i get it if you get vaccinated or not what you put in your body is all up to you understand that but you're not getting vaccinated kills other people then you're danger to the society and you do live in the society it's not a wild west i mean i understand the democracy but you know you also have to think about the society as a whole too it's not i do whatever the fuck i want so it's something like this where you know if you don't get vaccinated other people's get hurt then you should be rules to you know you you must get vaccinated because this is not just about you now you if you don't get vaccinated you're you're danger to society for monsters and consign them to their rightful place the history books all right there you go that was measles explain measles are dangerous uh, you know the the but people don't think about it because in the most places people are vaccinated so it doesn't come up that much but yeah measles is another virus that's really effed up all right people that was measles explain vaccinate or not definitely vac there is never not the definite vaccinate yes vaccination has side effects but nowhere nearly as much if you get you know disease even if you survive it you're fucked basically your immune system is screwed probably long term you might have brain damage so no you should always get a vaccine it's like you know uh, somebody's going to shoot at me you know should i wear a uh, you know kevlar vest or something you know kevlar vest could stop a bullet but it might give you you know maybe there's a chance it would give you heart attack because it would shoot you and give pressure where your heart is but if you don't wear kevlar there will be a massive hole inside and you bleed to death i mean come on all right i'll see you next time